Richard Dagobert Brower February 10, 1901 to April 17, 1977, was a leading German and American mathematician. He worked mainly in abstract algebra, but made important contributions to number theory. He was the founder of modular representation theory. Topic: <laughs> Education and career. Alfred Brower was Richard's brother and 7 years older. Alfred and Richard were both interested in science and mathematics, but Alfred was injured in combat in World War I as a boy. Richard dreamt of becoming an inventor, and in February 1919 enrolled in Technische Hochschule Berlin Charlottenburg. He soon transferred to University of Berlin. Except for the summer of 1920 when he studied at University of Freiburg, he studied in Berlin, being awarded his PhD on 16 March 1926. Esai Schur conducted a seminar and posed a problem in 1921 that Alfred and Richard worked on together, and published a result. The problem also was solved by Heinz Hoff at the same time. Richard wrote his thesis under Schur, providing an algebraic approach to irreducible, continuous, finite dimensional representations of real orthogonal rotation groups. Ilse Karger also studied mathematics at the University of Berlin. She and Richard were married the 17th of September 1925. Their sons George Ulrich, B 1927, and Fred Gunther, B 1932, also became mathematicians. Brower began his teaching career in Königsberg, now Kaliningrad, working as Konrad Knopf's assistant. Brower expounded central division algebras over a perfect field while in Königsberg. The isomorphism classes of such algebras form the elements of the Brower group he introduced. When the Nazi Party took over in 1933, the Emergency Committee in aid of displaced foreign scholars took action to help Brower and other Jewish scientists. Brower was offered an assistant professorship at University of Kentucky. Richard accepted the offer, and by the end of 1933 he was in Lexington, Kentucky, teaching in English. Ilsa followed the next year with George and Fred. Brother Alfred made it to the United States in 1939, but their sister Alice was killed in the Holocaust. Herman Whale invited Richard to assist him at Princeton's Institute for Advanced Study in 1934. Richard and Nathan Jacobson edited Whale's lectures Structure and Representation of Continuous Groups. Through the influence of Emmy Noether, Richard was invited to University of Toronto to take up a faculty position. With his graduate student Cecil J. Nesbitt he developed Modular Representation Theory, published in 1937. Robert Steinberg, Stephen Arthur Jennings, and Ralph Stanton were also Brower's students in Toronto. Brower also conducted international research with Tadasa Nakayama on representations of algebras. In 1941 University of Wisconsin hosted visiting Professor Brower. The following year he visited the Institute for Advanced Study in Bloomington, Indiana where Emil Artin was teaching. In 1948 Richard and Ilsa moved to Ann Arbor, Michigan where he and Robert M. Thrall contributed to the program in modern algebra at University of Michigan. With his graduate student K. A. Fowler, Brower proved the Brower-Fowler theorem. Donald John Lewis was another of his students at UM. In 1952 Brower joined the faculty of Harvard University. Before retiring in 1971 he taught aspiring mathematicians such as Donald Passman and I. Martin Isaacs. The Browers frequently traveled to see their friends such as Reinhold Baer, Werner Wolfgang Rogozinski, and Karl Ludwig Siegel. Mathematical work Several theorems bear his name, including Brouwer's induction theorem, which has applications in number theory as well as finite group theory, and its corollary Brouwer's characterization of characters, which is central to the theory of group characters. The Brouwer-Fowler theorem, published in 1956, later provided significant impetus towards the classification of finite simple groups, for it implied that there could only be finitely many finite simple groups for which the centralizer of an involution element of order two had a specified structure. Brouwer applied modular representation theory to obtain subtle information about group characters, particularly via his three main theorems. These methods were particularly useful in the classification of finite simple groups with low-rank silo 2 subgroups. The Brouwer-Suzuki theorem showed that no finite simple group could have a generalized quaternion silo 2 subgroup, and the alperin brouwer gorenstein theorem classified finite groups with wreathed or quasidihedral silo 2 subgroups. 
The methods developed by Brouwer were also instrumental in contributions by others to the classification program, for example, the Gorenstein Walter theorem, classifying finite groups with a dihedral silo 2 subgroup, and Glauberman's Z theorem. The theory of a block with a cyclic defect group, first worked out by Brouwer in the case when the principal block has defect group of order p, and later worked out in full generality by E. C. Dade, also had several applications to group theory, for example to finite groups of matrices over the complex numbers in small dimension. The Brouwer tree is a combinatorial object associated to a block with cyclic defect group which encodes much information about the structure of the block. In 1970, he was awarded the National Medal of Science. Topic: <inaudible> Hypercomplex numbers. Eduard Study had written an article on hypercomplex numbers for Klein's Encyclopedia in 1898. This article was expanded for the French language edition by Henri Carton in 1908. By the 1930s there was evident need to update Study's article, and Richard Brower was commissioned to write on the topic for the project. As it turned out, when Brower had his manuscript prepared in Toronto in 1936, though it was accepted for publication, politics and war intervened. Nevertheless, Brower kept his manuscript through the 1940s, 1950s, and 1960s, and in 1979 it was published by Okayama University in Japan. It also appeared posthumously as paper number 22 in the first volume of his collected papers. His title was Algebra der Hyperkomplexen Zahlensysteme Algebrin. Unlike the articles by Study and Carton, which were exploratory, Brouwer's article reads as a modern abstract algebra text with its universal coverage. Consider his introduction. In the beginning of the 19th century, the usual complex numbers and their introduction through computations with number pairs or points in the plane, became a general tool of mathematicians. Naturally the question arose whether or not a similar, hypercomplex, number can be defined using points of n-dimensional space. As it turns out, such extension of the system of real numbers requires the concession of some of the usual axioms Weierstrass 1863. The selection of rules of computation, which cannot be avoided in hypercomplex numbers, naturally allows some choice. Yet in any cases set out, the resulting number systems allow a unique theory with regard to their structural properties and their classification. Further, one desires that these theories stand in close connection with other areas of mathematics, wherewith the possibility of their applications is given. While still in Königsberg in 1929, Brouwer published an article in Mathematische Zeitschrift. Uber system a hyperkomplexer Zalen, which was primarily concerned with integral domains and the field theory which he used later in Toronto. Topic: <laughs> Publications. Brouwer, R. S. A. H. Chi Han, E. D. S. 1969. Theory of finite groups. A symposium. W. A. Benjamin, Inc. New York, Amsterdam. Mr. 0240186. Brouwer, R. 1980. Fong, Paul, Wang, Warren J. E. D. S. Collected papers. Volume. I. Mathematicians of Our Time, 17, MIT Press, ISBN 978-0-262-02135-7, Mr. 0581120 Brouwer, R. Fong, Paul, Wang, Warren J., eds. Collected Papers. Volume. 2. Mathematicians of Our Time, 18, MIT Press, ISBN 978-0-262-02148-7, Mr. 0581120 Brouwer, R. Fong, Paul, Wang, Warren J., eds. Collected Papers. Volume. 3. Mathematicians of Our Time, 19, MIT Press, ISBN 978-0-262-02149-4, Mr. 0581120 Topic. See also Brouwer algebra Brouwer group, the equivalence classes of Brouwer algebras over the same field F equipped with a group operation Brouwer Carton Wa theorem, Brouwer Nesbitt theorem, Brouwer Monin obstruction, Brouwer Siegel theorem, Brouwer Suzuki theorem, Brouwer's theorem, Brouwer's theorem on induced characters, 
Brower characters Topic Notes Topic References Curtis, Charles W. 2003, Pioneers of Representation Theory, Frobenius, Burnside, Schur, and Brower, History of Mathematics, Providence, Rhode Island, American Mathematical Society, ISBN 978-0-8218-2677-5, Mr. 1715145 Review Charles W. Curtis 2003, Richard Brower, Sketches from His Life and Work. American Mathematical Monthly 110-665-77. James Alexander Green 1978. Richard Dagobert Brower. Bulletin of the London Mathematical Society 10-317-42. Fight, Walter 1979. Richard D. Brower. American Mathematical Society. Bulletin. New Series, 1 1, 1 20, doi, 10.1090, S0273 0979 1979 14547 6, ISSN 0002 9904, Mr. 0513747. External links O'Connor, John J., Robertson, Edmund F. Richard Brower. MacTutor History of Mathematics Archive, University of St. Andrews. Richard Brower at the Mathematics Genealogy Project National Academy of Sciences Biographical Memoir